just remarkable. Wow. Wow. Oh, too cool. This is awesome. Wow. Oh, hey guys. Sorry, totally forgot that I was taking you along in my journey with me. I have seen so much. This new land is awesome. There's so much to see and so much to explore. But speaking of exploring, the deal went through. We now own the Louisiana Territory. That's right. Yes, we purchased the land from the Mississippi River all the way to the Rocky Mountains from Emperor Napoleon. And now it is ours. I'm so excited to take you on my next exploration. It is a really, really good thing. I brought my rain jacket along and I have this nice hat that's covering my glasses because it's a rainy one today. But that's not going to stop us explorers. I've got some big, big news for you guys. So since Thomas Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Territory, he wants a group of explorers to go out and explore the land, to be the first Americans we send out to go and see what's out there. He asked a man named Meriwether Lewis to lead this expedition. Now an expedition is a big word for adventure or um, time to explore. So he asked a man named Meriwether Lewis to go out and lead this team of explorers. And he wanted three things from him. Are you guys ready to find out those three things that Thomas Jefferson wanted Meriwether Lewis to discover? Number one, he wanted him to see if a river reached the Pacific Ocean. So there's a river called the Missouri River that flows into the Mississippi River and Thomas Jefferson wants to know if that river will flow into the Pacific Ocean. So the ocean on the other side of the United States. Then he wanted Meriwether Lewis to take note of all the plants and animals that he finds in the new land to see if there's different plants and animals for the United States to start hunting and eating three. He wanted Meriwether Lewis to become friends with the Native Americans. He wanted him to make sure they know that we come in peace, that we wanted to be peaceful and be friends towards them. So Meriwether Lewis asked his friend William Clark to be his partner in this expedition because he knew William Clark was great at putting maps together and reading maps. So the two of them just traveled to St. Louis where the Missouri River flows into the Mississippi River. And they are going to put together a team of people to go on their expedition. Now because of my awesome exploration skills, they asked us to come with them. So we are going to get to explore the new land with Lewis and Clark. Are you guys just the most excited? Because I know I am. I have been going through the land, seeing what people will let me borrow. I got this hat, these binoculars. I got my walking stick that I had to set down so I could hold my maps and the video blog. But I've got it for when we start going on our expedition. All right, they've just asked me to help them to start preparing boats with supplies because we are traveling by river. So we need to make sure our boats are ready to go and that they're full of supplies that will help us live. So I've got to find food and water and things to use for shelter, especially on days like today where it's raining. But on May 14th, 1804, we are set to take sail or to start traveling down the Missouri River. So May 14th is a big, big day in our expedition. But it's you guys' turn 
to work with me and help me find materials to use on our boats. I want you guys to test out different materials and see which materials float in water and will last a trip down the Missouri River. Right? And once you find those materials, then you're going to make your own boat. But today's all about discovering which materials you should use in your boat. So I want you to think about uh, maybe recycled materials you have at your house, some art supplies, some cereal boxes or things that you could not put in the trash but instead use to build your boat and start seeing what is going to float and be the best materials to use in the water. Then we're going to build our boats together. Can, do you guys think you can do that? I know you guys can. Well, the rain is starting to come down harder and I don't want the video blog to get cut off. So I'm gonna go find some shelter, lay out my nap mat and get ready for May 14th when we set off down the Missouri River. Thanks so much guys for being a part of this journey. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.